Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Corporate box provided by Toyota. We have a lot of work to do. Let's get the chief up here. Chief, you there? I'm here, Dred. Let's go. All right, detectives. Carmen San Diego and her pack of pernicious perpetrators have pounced again. This time, they hit the Dead Sea. The world's most saline body of water got its name because it supports no life whatsoever. But for centuries, the springs that feed it have been used as a cure from everything from psoriasis to lumbago. But today... The Dead Sea disappeared. Dick the Slick, disguised by the Arab Kafia on his head, rode up to the sea on a camel with a specially modified hump. The animal slurped down the well-salted waters, then strode off into the sun. Vic plans to turn the sea into a traveling spa. Here's the rundown on Vic the Slick. He's got a smooth line, a tasteless tie, and a mile-long rap sheet. Your mission, gumshoes, vanquish Vic the Slick, recover the Dead Sea, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Yes. Okay, Chief, let's go. Here's the scoop. Vic the Slick headed north, dragging the Dead Sea to the River Foyle. He holed up in a walled city built in Europe. The settlement dates back to the 6th century when St. Columba founded an abbey there. Now part of the United Kingdom, it's made news because of tensions and occasional violence between its Catholic and Protestant citizens. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, to what county did Victor Slick take the sea? Is it Londonderry, Galway, or Inverness? Remember the clues that we heard? River Foyle, a walled city in Europe, and part of the United Kingdom. Okay, guys, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to track down Vic the Slick, trying to do it as quick as we possibly can. Tara's ready, so is Benai, and so is Alap. Tara, we'll start with you. What do you say? Galloway. Galloway. What do you think, Benai? Londonderry. Londonderry. Alap? Londonderry. Londonderry. The answer we're looking for is Londonderry. Nice job, guys. Okay. So it looks like we're on the right trail here. Let's take a little break. Let's find out a little bit more about you detectives. First off, Tara... Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to dance, tap and jazz. Yeah, how long have you been doing that? Eight years. Yeah, and do you have any career plans? Um, I'd like to be a marine biologist and um, work at SeaWorld or another marine. Oh, why, why would you like to be a marine biologist? Because I'm interested in marine mammals and the other kinds of animals that live in the sea. Good, nice to have you with us. There's Sarah, everybody. Okay, Vinay, uh, you spent some time in Abu Dhabi. Yes, I lived there for three years. What's it like in Abu Dhabi? It's just like any other modern cities with buildings, tall buildings, but it's pretty, it's uh, very high standards because there are oil fields all around it. And, but instead of being very hot, it's kind of cool because there's oceans right next to it. Okay, nice to have you on the case. Good night, everybody. And a lot. What do you like to do in your spare time, a lot? I like to, I like to play soccer and basketball. Oh, really? You want to, do you have any plans to take either one of those any further? Yes, I'd like to play soccer uh, in the Olympics, on, on the Olympic team, and uh, I'd like to play for a college team. Well, good luck to you. Nice to have you on the case. A lot, everybody. Nice to be here. Okay, guys, let's get back on the trail now for our next clue. We need to go to, uh, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure exactly where we go. I, 
I forgot what our next clue is. I'm sorry. Uh, Chief, Chief, I'm sorry. I forgot what the next clue was. If you could tell me that we could, we could get started. Well, you got me, Greg. I don't know. You don't know? No. Oh, great. Uh, well, then I'll just go up to uh, Acme Control Net. I'll find out. I'll get a clue, and I'll, I'll come back. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how this happens. I'm very frustrated about this. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get a job done here. If you don't pardon me, excuse me. I just, I, you know, if you want a job done right, you know, Gregor. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hi. Hey, Danny, you got any clues? Greg, you're not supposed to be in here. It's supposed to be in the office. Yeah, go. Know. We need more clues, though. All right. Tell the gumshoes to go to the Pompidou Center or the Moulin Rouge. All right. Now, get. We got a show to All do. Right, that's oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's one yeah. more thing. Take these francs. You'll need those, okay? That's okay. cool. Come on. Let's go. You know, it is really cool back here. I've never been in here before. What is this thing right over there? That's the gum shoe later, Greg. Cool. Cool. What's this thing right here? Don't touch that! Hi. Sorry. They had a little technical difficulty. But we're back and everything is okay! <laughs> okay, gum shoes. Name the city. Is it Brussels? Nice or Paris? Remember the clues that we heard? Pompidou Center, uh, Moulin Rouge, and Franks. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, guys. Trying to find Victor Slick. Can't waste a lot of time here. Going up to the control center and all that stuff. Van Eyes ready. So is Alop and Tara waiting on you. Uh, now she's ready. Tara, what do you say? Paris. Paris, what do you think, Van Eyes? Paris. Paris, what do you think, Alop? Brussels. Brussels, the answer we're looking for is Paris. Nice job, Tara and Van Eyes. Okay, so that means, Tara, you have 60, Vinay, you have 70, Alap, you have 60. Still a close game here, you guys. Nice job. Unfortunately, it looks like we've lost Vic's trail. He's gone. Deceased. Out of the way. Are we the negative one? Oh, well, I suppose you think you know everything, huh? Then why don't you just tell me? Well, now you're getting it. Vic went to the USSR, to a town in the Crimea. He put the Dead Sea on the Black Sea. That's it? Don't be so impatient. It's the place where Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin held their famous summit. Okay, that's enough. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Don't mention it. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. The voice, ladies and gentlemen. The voice from on high. Okay, guys. Name the Soviet city. Is it Odessa, Gorky, or Yalta? Remember the clues that we heard? The Crimea, the Black Sea, Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin's famous summit. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find out where Victor Slick is. Tara's ready, so is Vinay, so is Alap. Tara, we'll start with you. What do you say? Gorky. Gorky, Vinay. Yalta. Yalta, Alap. Yalta. Yalta, the answer we're looking for is Yalta. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means, Tara, you have 60. Vinay, you have 80. Alap, you have 70. Starting to pull ahead there, Vinay. Okay. Wait a minute. This could change everything. It's time for the lightning round. Going to give you a chance now to try to pick up some extra crime bucks. What's going to happen is I have three questions here. Each one of them is worth five crime bucks. All you have to do is buzz in, give the right answer, and, uh, and I'll give you the five points. Okay, so hands on buzzers, please. Listen carefully. Yalta is a beautiful seaside resort where Russian czars own great palaces and frolic in the surf. Which sea does Yalta border? The Black Sea, the Red Sea, or the Dead Sea? Oh. The Black Sea. Black Sea's right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay, question two. On a map of the world, Yalta is located at 44 degrees north latitude. If you trace the line of latitude from Yalta to the U.S., You'd come closest to which of these U.S. cities? Bangor, Maine, Baltimore, Maryland, or Birmingham, Alabama? Vinay. Vinay. I'm sorry? Baltimore. I'm sorry? That's not the answer we're looking for. Tara or Allah? Tara. Baltimore, um, I mean... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't accept that. I'm sorry. Allah would like to take a stab. Birmingham? Birmingham is not the answer. The answer is Bangor, Maine. Sorry, guys. Here we are. On to the third question. Yalta is in the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. In 1986, a serious accident occurred in a nuclear power plant, also late located Benai. Chernobyl. Chernobyl's right. Nice job. Okay. So, at the end of three in a lightning round, Tara has 60, Benai has 85, and Alapa has 75. Starting to pull ahead Greg? here. Yes, Chief. Greg, in my office immediately. Okay, I'll be right there. Uh, guys, just hang tight. I'll go check with her. I'll be right back. I wonder what she wants. <laughs> you never really tell. Chief, what's up? Oh, Greg. Yeah. You still haven't captured Carmen San Diego. Now, I don't mean to put any pressure on you, but you are upsetting the fabric of the universe. I'm sorry, what? Greg, some things are meant to be. Oh, 
Grass is meant to be green. Water is meant to be wet. Carmen San Diego is meant to be in jail, and she's still out there loose somewhere, and it's beginning to disturb the natural order of things. I, I'm, I'm sorry, how do you mean, Chief? Hmm. Fine. I'll give you an example. All right. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's very weird, but it's cool. Yeah, well, that sort of thing has been happening to me all day long, and it is driving me crazy. <laughs> Oh, now, that is weird. I'm here to tell you something oh, strange yeah. around well, here. Well, just don't touch the lamp. Don't touch the lamp. Greg! <laughs> I'm sorry, Chief. Look, we have got to get the gumshoes to capture Carmen San Diego so we can put a stop to all of this nonsense. <laughs> now, hmm. how can we do that? Uh, I got it. <laughs> we can uh, offer them a trip to anywhere in the lower 48 states to the gumshoe who catches Carmen San Diego. Now, that's not a bad idea. Oh, then maybe things will get back to normal. Well, I hope so, Chief. <laughs> Go away. Okay, gumshoes, remember, we're still looking for Vic the Slick and the Sea. Now, fortunately for us, Acme Bugnet has just given us a recording of a phone conversation between Vic and Carmen San Diego. Watch. You'd better move it, Vic. Acme's after you. Bring the sea to the Bay of Bengal and park it at the marina. It's the local beach and it goes on for miles. You'll like the city. There's a famous plaid fabric that originally comes from there. Great! I can do some shopping. Sorry, bub. You'll be hiding out in the pit at Snake Park. You know I hate reptiles. They're so slimy. That's funny. They speak very highly of you. Okay, Gumshoes, in what city did Vic hide the sea? Is it Bombay? Madras or Calcutta? Remember the clues that we heard? Bay of Bengal, Plaid Fabric, and Snake Park. Everybody's ready. Tara, what do you say? Madras. Madras. What do you think, Vinay? Madras. Madras. Allah. Madras. Madras. The answer we're looking for is Madras. Nice job, guys. Okay, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Tara, you have 70. Vinay, you have 95. Allah, you have 85. Now, whenever we're in a tight spot like this for a clue, I always like to check the file. So uh, let's do that right now and just find out what's over here. Ooh. Okay, it's all right. I think I think it was just a sound effect. We're okay. Ah. No problem. Everything is okay. Let's just find out what this note says here. Listen closely. It says, okay, listen up. Head for a Wild West city where mock shootouts are staged in the middle of downtown. This city was named for the Native American tribe that lived in the area. Vic was seen slithering around the Wyoming State Capitol building. Okay, guys, name the Wyoming city. Is it Boise, Cheyenne, or Casper? Looks like everybody's ready, Tara. We'll start with you. What do you say? Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Vinay. Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Alap. Cheyenne. Cheyenne, the answer is Cheyenne. You guys are cooking. Okay, Tara, you're up to 80. Vinay, 105, Alap, 95. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, Vic was last I'm seen... Upstairs, my upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Uh, Pumpkin Clanger. Come on, let's find out what she's mad about. Hey, Miss P. That Sorry. Pumpkin Clanger to you? Will you catch that odious man? He's gone to a body of water with nearly as much salinity as the Dead Sea. 84% sodium chloride, to be precise. And there is so much bacteria and algae that the water turns red. Now catch him and leave me in peace, Bill. Ooh. Hope you're okay. Bye. Ah. She's okay. Okay, guys, name the body of water. Is it Saline River, Great Salt Lake, or Dead Man's Bay? Remember the clues that we heard from Mrs. P? Nearly as salty as the Dead Sea, bacteria and algae turn the water red. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Lobster ready, so is Vinay, so is Tara. Tara, what do you say? Great Salt Lake. Great Salt Lake, Vinay. Great Salt Lake. Great Salt Lake, a lot. Dead Man's Bay. Dead Man's Bay, the answer we're looking for is the Great Salt Lake. Nice shot, Tara and Vinay. Okay. Things are moving around here. Nice game going. Terry, you have 90, but now you have 115. Alop, you have 95. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, guys. Now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 acne crime bucks. Now, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic the Slick is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. 
If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, looks like everybody's made a decision. For our next clue, we go to Acme Fishnet. I landed on the fish line from my cousin, Walleye, who happens to be the state fish over there that Vic was headed for Pierre. He was on his way back from the Crazy Horse Monument, but he got lost in the petrified forest. Scary place, that forest. It was nice back when it was a swamp, but nowadays, I wouldn't go near it. Thanks, Mo. Okay, guys, name the state. Is it North Dakota, South Dakota, or Nebraska? Remember the clues that we heard? Pier, Crazy Horse Monument, and Petrified Forest. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Lay it down right there in front of you. Everybody's ready? Okay. Tara, we're going to start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 10 crime bucks. If you're right, you'll go in second place. What'd you say? South Dakota. South Dakota's right. Nice job. Tara, you're in second place. Okay, a lot. You have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. If you're right, you're going to go to the lead. What did you say? I said South Dakota. South Dakota's right. Nice job, pal. <laughs> Takes up the 115. You're tied for the lead. Vinay, how much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. If you're right, then you and a lot will go into the next round. What did you say? I said North Dakota. North Dakota means you're going to come down 20 crime bucks with 95. That means Alap and Tara, you're going on to the next round. Nice job, guys. Panay, tough break here, man. You're going to lead the whole way, but let me tell you, you are a great detective, man. You did some great stuff for us today, and we've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes the World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen Watch, a Carmen Sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our thanks for all your good work on this case. Vinay, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now it's time for you to go to South Dakota, where you're going to try to track down Vic the Slick and get back to sea. You have to go find him and bring him back. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? Here's the scoop on South Dakota. Nicknamed the Coyote State, populated since at least the 9th century. The Sioux dominated the area until the 1870s, became a state in 1889, population about 700,000. Now, the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. Mount Rushmore, Presidents Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln carved out of the Black Hills. Each face is around 60 feet high. It's one of the biggest sculptures ever created. Mammoth Site in Hot Springs, largest find of prehistoric mammoth bones in the Western Hemisphere. Fossils are about 26,000 years old. Now, the theory is the mammoths were trapped in quicksand. A bison herd in Custer State Park. These creatures used to cover much of the Great Plains. Now, note the Acme herd net agent there. He's the third from the left. Corn Palace, unique piece of South Dakota architecture. It's decorated each year with thousands of bushels of corn. Dakota is the Sioux word for alliance of friends. Now check out the traditional dance and song performances on the state's many Native American reservations. Well, that's South Dakota. Come shoes, it's time to head out into the field now. Begin the crime net countdown. Five are the senses you need, four putting crooks on the run. Three against greed, to be sure justice has won. Go get them, gumshoes! Okay, guys, come on. Here we are in South Dakota. Set your stuff down here. Take a walk right over there. Let me show you what we have. Here are the locations where you might be able to find Vic the Slick, the sea, and a warrant for Vic the Slick's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego and you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any one of these locations that you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? A lot you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Uh, Ingalls Home. Ingalls Home. Nothing there, okay? Tara. Cedar Pass Lodge. Cedar Pass Lodge. 
Nope, nothing there. A lot. Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. Nope, sorry. Terra. Reptile Gardens? Reptile Gardens. Nice job. You got the warrant. Remember, you have to get the loot, the warrant, and the crook. Use some strategy, Terra. Go ahead. Corn Palace? Corn Palace. Okay, you got the warrant and you got Vic, but remember, you've got to get it in the right order. So use some strategy, Tara. Go ahead. Jewel Cave. Jewel Cave. Not there. Okay, a lot. Go ahead. Crazy Horse Memorial. Crazy Horse Memorial. Nope, oh, sorry. Tara, go ahead. Sue Craft Store. Sue Craft Store. Nope, nothing there. A lot. Mm. Petrified answer. Forest. Petrified Forest. Nope, sorry. Tara. Mm -hmm. Sylvan Lake. Sylvan Lake. Sylvan Lake. Nope, oh, nothing there. A lot. Custer State Park. Custer State Park. No fishy. Okay, there's the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Reptile Gardens. <laughs> Reptile Gardens. No Lawrence. Go ahead. You get one more. Can you find Vic? Do it. Corn Palace. Corn Palace. No yeah. Fishy. Nice job. Come on over here, bud. How are you? Good job. You... That was easy for you. Okay, now it's time for you to take Victor's lick and put him in jail, so pull on this chain and do it. Okay, Alop, listen, we'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit, but first, Tara, you are a great detective. You tracked Victor Slick all the way to South Dakota. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. We have a world band radio so that Tara can listen to broadcasts from all over the world. Nice work, Tara. Okay, Alop. Inside of this portfolio, I have a piece of paper and a pen. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go. If you catch Carmen San Diego and win that trip, do it. We're still riding. We'll be with you in just a minute. Just hang tight. Okay, you got it? Good. Okay. Look, you got Victor Slick. You got the loot. Now all you have to do is catch Carmen San Diego. That's not. Hold on to this just one second. Let me get that. Yeah, hello. Yeah, he's right here for you. I'm going to need some company in the slammer. So here's the scoop on Carmen. Look for her in the United States. Okay, looks like you and I are going to the USA. Chief? Hey, Lop. Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Washington. Oregon. California. Utah. Kansas. Iowa, Arkansas, Wisconsin, Illinois, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Connecticut. Greg, take up to the map. How to do it. Okay, a lot. That's what it's all about, pal. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through seven different states, identifying each state with a marker. If you're right, you'll hear this sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the marker where it is. If you're right seven times in 45 seconds, though, you will then get that trip to wherever you wrote in that portfolio. Sound good to you? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. Okay, Alop, let's do this thing. Come on, man. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck, Alop. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Carmel went to Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. You got it. Carmel went to Los Angeles, California. Carmen went to Atlanta, Georgia. You got it, come on. Carmen went to Ogden, Utah. Ogden, Utah. That's not it. Try it again, try it again, try it again. Ogden, Utah. You got it, come on. Fort Smith, Arkansas. Hurry, Arkansas. Arkansas, come on, hurry. Hurry along, Arkansas. Oh, sorry, that's not it. You got four to 45 seconds, so give him a hand, guys. Come here, Alop. I tell you, man, sometimes Carmen San Diego is just tough to catch. That's all it is. But remember, you did get Victor Slick. You did get the loot. That's not bad. Chief, what do you say? Hey, Alop, we're all proud of the good work you did throughout the day. And we here at headquarters, well, we pitched in and purchased a portable CD player we thought you would enjoy. And a selection of CDs from around the world. That's not too bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, you've been doing a lot of hard work for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. 
Do it, Rockabella! Jennifer Zukowski, my office, immediately. Jennifer, let's go. Right through these doors, right through that door, to the chief's office. Ah, Jennifer, right here. Jennifer, I'm always on the lookout for new Acme Crime Net detectives, and, well, I think you've got potential. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. You ready? Pay attention here. Swahili is a language spoken throughout East Africa. It was greatly influenced by early traders from what culture? Arabic, English, or Portuguese? Arabic. Absolutely right. Here is your Carmen sweatshirt. Wear it. Good health. And remember the Acme motto. Some steal sable, some steal mink. Acme puts them in the clink. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you.